Brand Library and Art Center is undergoing a remarkable renovation and will reopen to the public in March 2014 as an attractive tourist destination. Hi, and welcome to Brand Library and Art Center. My name is Carolyn Fleming, and I'm the library's building and facilities administrator. And it's my pleasure to show you around this beautifully renovated Brand Library and Art Center. The place that you're standing in right now is the plaza. This used to be just a series of steps leading up to the porch to the gallery. It has now been transformed into a beautiful space for performances, and that will be part of our future programming. For now, let's go inside and see what has happened to the inside of the building. Follow me. This is the entry corridor. Right now, we're busy setting up for the grand reopening at the end of March. But in the future, this is where you will enter either from the plaza or from the ADA parking spaces. There will be someone here at the desk to greet you and to help you check your materials in or check them out. Don't forget, there are lots and lots of CDs, DVDs, and books on art and music. Before the renovation, this area used to be filled with stacks and stacks of books. As you can tell, we're still dealing with the books. They're just being moved into a new area. In Mr. and Mrs. Brand's time, this was the solarium. This was the center courtyard around which all of the other rooms opened. This room will be filled with a desk where there will be a librarian for all of your music questions and your art questions, a set of computers for you to use, and a small table to sit and use with your own laptop or to listen to the DVD collection too. The dining room, also known as the blue room, is the reading room, a pleasant place to sit and study at a table or sit in a lounge chair with a beautiful view out over the parking lot through that gorgeous picture window. In this room, you're first introduced to the spectacular ceiling paintings. Underneath two layers of old ceiling, we found original paintings done back in 1904 in very delicate condition, but visible enough that we could document every detail of the original paintings. We've been lucky enough to save about six pieces of those paintings and you will find them throughout the building as you walk. But for now, let's look at the two rooms themselves. The green room, or the library room, will be completely a seating space. We're still setting it up. There will be furniture coming in, as there will be in the dining room. But for now, it's an empty space waiting to be completed. Some of the beautiful features in both rooms include the pocket door that we find between the two rooms. It's two pieces of wood sandwiched together. Interestingly, the brands were quite attentive to do decorative details. And this side is mahogany. The back side is made of oak to match the woods in each of the two rooms. When you enter the library room, the green room, you'll notice two other features that make the room interesting. There are two windows on the west side. They were not there if you visited the library before we closed for renovation. They had been there in 1904 when the Brands lived here. In 1956, when their home was converted to a library, those windows were closed in, the wall was made solid, and bookcases were placed along the wall. Because it's an important part of the history of the building, those two windows were recut and the leaded glass that had been there originally has been put back in. In addition to the windows, you'll find one piece of the original wall still exposed. We've left it there purposefully and permanently so that you can see what the walls were made of. They're not your typical walls. They are made of rubble, rock upon rock, grouted together with a little bit of plaster, and that's it. But surprisingly, they hold up very well. Now we're standing in the entryway, or the red room. Before the renovation, people would enter from the front door and be greeted right here by a long reception desk and a solid wall filled with bookcases. 
During the renovation, we were able to recut the two windows, make them into doors, and replace the brick portion of the fireplace that had been taken out in the 1956 conversion. Re-established the fireplace as the focal point of the room. The mantel had been left in the 1956 conversion, but we recreated the brick fireplace and it is a perfect reproduction of what was once here, matched brick by brick to the original photographs. The front door will no longer be used as the main entry point. The main entry point will come off of the plaza and off of the parking lot, but it will be used for very special occasions. This is a reading area. It will be furnished with four little chairs, a coffee table, and a rug, making it the most intimate of reading spaces. We're standing now in the drawing room, or the light blue room. This is the much more delicate of the rooms. The lighter paint, look at the ceiling stencils when you are in this room and notice how delicate each one of them is. Roses, the roses are repeated on the fireplace, also original to the room. It's a stunning area and once again, it will be a place for you to sit and read and relax. There will be lounge chairs and rugs on the floor coffee tables and side tables. It's a beautiful space. It's adjacent to the computer lab. The computer lab is a brand new feature for us. It will be 10 publicly available computers for anyone to use. One of the key features in the drawing room is the alcove tucked into the corner and a wonderful surprise during the renovation. That's the end of our tour for now. Our grand opening is March 27th, and we're very excited to greet you in person. See you then. Join us for a celebration of the reopening of Brand Library and Arts Center with the following events and tours. The Gala Fundraiser, Saturday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. A ticketed event featuring live music, refreshments, and an exclusive first look at Brand Library and Arts Center. Ribbon Cutting and Reopening, Thursday, March 27th at 10.30 a.m., free event. Gallery Reception, Saturday, March 29th at 7 p.m., a free reception featuring the artwork of Jill Knox, Gilda Davidian, Rasmic Samveltz, Natasha June, and John Rajkovich. Wine and light refreshments will be served. Brand Library and Park Open House, Sunday, March 30th at 12 noon. A family event featuring live music, food trucks, and activities. For more information, visit www.brandlibrary.org.